Well, welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It is time for another episode of Sunday Long Play, and we are going to tackle, for the first time, Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I am going to pop into settings and show you quick what I do with the controller settings. This is a transition from console edition to bedrock edition. I turned the sensitivity up to 80. That's looking around in first person mode. I did not swap the A, B buttons, even though it makes um, the running around feel better. Uh, it swaps what A and B do in your menus also. So like confirm and cancel switch to what you're probably used to if you've been playing on the Wii U or the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and then controller cursor sensitivity, I wish there was a 300%. And I may be asking you guys for advice on how to uh, handle crafting. Um, it, it really is 100% is ridiculously slow. 200% is still like kind of unusable. Um, so instead of doing the AB button swap, change jump slash fly up to B. Its default is A. And then change sneak slash fly down to A. Its default is B. If you make those two changes and you leave this AB button swap alone, the controllers are going to feel like they did on console edition. All right, so uh, I've I signed in and Microsoft created a Microsoft account for me. Carved emu 878680 with a little robot face there i don't think that's going to stay that way but we're going to roll with it for now so we can get achievements all right so uh we need to create a world let's name our world um i guess basement makes a lot of sense since that will be the point of this world um and we will see we'll see if we get an awesome seed or not okay we're gonna do survival uh, we're gonna do hard difficulty because duh we do I don't need a starting map um, or a bonus chest however uh, let's see visitor member operator I guess we'll leave it on member I don't know uh, oh yeah we do want infinite okay we're not gonna enter a seed six chunks is fine Friendly fire is fine. I do want to show coordinates, okay? And I want to turn off fire spreads, and I'm glad that that's not under cheats. Um, so there's a lot of new settings to this. Uh, TNT exploding, fine. Natural regeneration, fine. Tell drops, not experimental gameplay. Okay, and then here's cheats. So I don't need it to be always day. I don't need to keep inventory upon death. Um, although that's tempting. But I want achievements. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a random seed, and I think we're ready. So... Let's see what we get. Um, like I said, on the on among my Switch accounts, this is the first time I've played this game with this account. All I've done is set up the Microsoft Online account uh, off camera, and then a different Switch profile. I figured out my controller settings and stuff. Okay, we're at one twenty four twenty, our X and Z coordinates, and holy smokes, we we are somehow. Let's see, we're at 78Y, and we are way up high in the middle. Of, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, so there's a sneak. Yeah, A is sneak instead of the right control stick, although you can use that too. So I'm looking for some exposed coal. There's some. All right, we're going to do this smart, guys. We're going uh, We're going to start with some wood, and then a lot of people... I have found make wood tools and kind of stick with them for a while I think wood is so precious in the early game because you have to get holed up that first night and by the time you do that you're not getting any more wood um oh I hear a sheep where is it okay well let's just grab we'll grab some more wood here and uh yeah um I have to say I like I like the feel of it. The game feels good. Um, it looks nicer. There's a lot more particle effects. It seems smoother. The render distance is definitely further, even in handheld mode, uh, which I really enjoy. And yeah, our, our goal is going to be uh, to survive and thrive. Now, I do have... Oh, getting wood. Achievement unlocked. Hooray. Um, I do have... Let's see, where's that called? Up here. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so we're going to... Okay, now, uh, your trigger buttons will turn off your recipe book. And what I kind of want to do 
see, look how slow 200% is. This is 200%. Can you believe it? That's crazy. Um, since we already see coal, I know that I don't need... So, I, I know I don't need any of that wood unplanked. Uh, so, I'm trying to get quick at doing this like this. Uh, but sometimes I cancel out before um, I'm done crafting. So, I draw the thing and then I leave it sit there. But moving around... Uh, yeah, see, just like that. But moving around with... Um, the control stick is just painfully slow, and I don't love it. Uh, taking inventory. Bench making. Okay, that's neat. I'm glad we're getting whatevers. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, this is what I do with tools, guys. Instead of monkeying around with wooden tools. Oh, I'm ducking. I don't want that. Okay, I got my three cobble. Um, excuse me. I want to be up here now. Usually what I do... <laughs> is I get just three cobble and I immediately make my cobblestone pick. Um, so really all I use the wood for is just the three. Pick up the whole thing, please. Just the three cobblestone in order to make the pick because I don't know. I don't I don't need to use it to its full durability like to get maximum use out of it. I think it's quicker to go ahead and just bite the bullet and make the cobblestone one and then go from there. Okay, speaking of which, I want to keep track of how much cobblestone we have because we need three for an axe, we need two for a hoe, we need two for a sword, we need one for a shovel, okay, and then we need eight for a furnace. So, how much is that? Three, two, two is uh, 4, 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 8 is 16. I always thought it was 17 that I wanted. Um, we'll go ahead and grab a few more, even though we'll end up with a bunch probably tonight, just so we can make, uh, make the tools that we need. Okay, so let's... Okay, so I can grab half of this and go like that, and then I can make a few things in a row, I think. So we'll do that, and then before closing out, yeah, see, I want to be able to get, like, fast at this. And maybe there are buttons that will help me that you guys know about. Um, we already have one of those. I want a this. Okay, then a sword. We'll only have one stick left after that. You know what? Maybe, nah, yeah, maybe we'll make two swords. Um... Just because I don't like an odd number of sticks. <laughs> uh, we'll make one furnace. We'll get a few more sticks going here. And um, four. We'll keep one piece of coal in case we end up cooking some meat. or uh, And we don't have any coal otherwise. Okay, so now some quick organization. I know that this is the boring part, guys, but... Uh, sort of the way it goes um don't need that out the sword goes oh and it doesn't wrap around anymore either i can't go from the left side all the way to the right by pressing left when i'm on the leftmost block that's annoying to me time to farm yeah i i made that a while ago guys um my internet connection is not the greatest, so that's probably why that's taking a little bit of time. Am I going to need an extra pick, too? Might as well do that now while we're in here. Okay. One, two. If I quick move that... Okay. So there's some nice animations and stuff, too, with like quick move and things like that that weren't there before. Okay, now we know how much wood we have. We know how much cobble we have. Wait, why aren't I picking up the whole thing? Okay, what if I use the control stick? Gosh, it's just, it feels wonky and slow. Okay, and I know I have a furnace. And I'm going to pick up this. Okay, now let's check out um, zero, 00 real quick. Let's see. I want to go that way. Yikes. Maybe we'll go around and grab some more coal while we go. Uh, food is an issue, too. Um, crafting, so I'm used to console crafting. And I could get used to the recipe book in Bedrock, 
And if that's just the way to do it, like the way to be quick, uh, then that's what I'll do. But I would really like to do the classic. Um, now, I love that we can swim. Like, look how fast we go. This is outstanding. Water was so tedious before. Okay, are my coordinates getting better yet? I know I have to kind of round a corner here. Yeah, the, the game definitely feels smooth and nice, and I like that a lot. Okay, we could get some more wood here. This Our X coordinates getting smaller, and now our Z is too when we head that way. So let's um, grab some more wood while we're here, and I'm hoping I see some animals so I can get some meat. We are on hard difficulty, and I have no food yet, and I'm not going to get any apples from these birch trees because they're just birch trees. Oh, and I never marked my spawn. I suppose I could look at the coordinates in the video, and then we'll know, and I could go back and mark it later. Okay, there's some more coal. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness gracious. That was scary. First fright of the new world. Look how quickly we swim up. It's great. Although swimming has felt a little bit, honestly, just a little bit buggy to me. Okay, crouch. Interesting. Okay, there might be something good down there. Uncrouch. Oh, look, there's fish. See him? The swimming has felt a little buggy to me. I actually drowned once in a test world that I only played for, like, I don't know, 30 minutes. Um, it just would not let me swim up at one point. I had full health and not quite full air when I tried to start swimming up, and it just would not go. Okay, we need to... I'm afraid zero zero is way up there. I wanted to build our first little thing at zero zero, but maybe I'll sort of do it wherever I can find some animals. This is some gnarly terrain we're dealing with right now. Oh, okay, no, zero zero looks like it might be kind of low. So here's, uh, so here about is where it is. Right here, in fact, okay. Um, let's go ahead, level this out a little. I think I just heard a skeleton, which is kind of fun. Okay, maybe we'll make ourselves a little corner home. Oh yeah, I definitely hear a skeleton. I just can't tell where he's at. Yeah, and like falling blocks look a lot different to me in bedrock i don't know it's kind of weird um but whatever oh look okay we got a hole up this is exciting i love the first night okay let's um let's get this going real quick here uh Okay, I'm gonna want, let's see here, let's see. Gonna want some planks so as not to waste too much wood. That's gonna give me 12 planks though, won't it? Yeah, okay. Ooh, I hear them, I hear them. Okay, we're gonna be okay though. Nothing's gonna spawn on the roof like this. Now I need, I need a door. Uh, not being able to craft quickly definitely adds an element of danger. Um, okay, good, only three doors. I'm going to hit that craft all button once and make, like, a stack of crafting tables. It's just going to happen. Okay, that's open, so I can actually see if it's daylight without really opening the door. That's fine. Um, I like how small and cozy our home is right now. And we'll do some digging down, but... Priority one tomorrow is definitely going to be food. And I'm wondering if I can't just sneak out real quick here and try and punch up some seeds and, and get the water flowing into the base a little bit. Um, is there any grass out here?
Ooh, what a beautiful world. There's a sheep. We're going to want to kill three sheep so we can sleep the nights away soon. I don't see any grass. Oh, I do hear zombie, though. Oh, <laughs> that was frightening. Okay, we've had a big fall and a zombie encounter already. So that, that's very troubling. Troubling. Uh, achievement unlocked. Monster Hunter. Okay, so let's see. What do we have for coal here? We've got 31. That's pretty good. Um, and we've got a bunch of wood besides. Let's make uh, just a few more planks. Oh, I can't press left there, see? Okay, and then we can use these to make a chest. And uh, we got our humble little beginnings going here. We don't need the gravel. The dirt might come in handy, actually. I like to have a little bit of dirt and cobble with me. Uh, I put that in the wrong spot. Okay, we don't need the flesh. Um, don't need any of that. Okay, and let's set... Oh, look. You gotta press that. You gotta press the trigger to make that all go away. Okay, now we have the ability to cook stuff. We just don't have anything to cook. So let's... Um, we can make torches on the go. So let's start digging down. Uh, this is what you do on the first night. Uh, if you don't have a bed... You dig down and holy smokes is this ever dark let's try real quick I probably did this um, also if you guys have any um, recommendations on uh, let's do 80 field of view let me know or really any of these um, settings Ooh, fancy leaves I like that. Uh, fancy graphics, yes, please. Um, let's bump that render distance up, shall we? Um, particle render, why is that at zero? Let's try just 10. Now the sensitivity is plenty there. Oh, and look, can I change my skin? Oh, it's trying to connect to Microsoft. Never mind. you're too slow. We'll do that off camera. I'm glad I made two picks while I had the chance. I mean, I guess I could make them now. That brightness is helping. Let's see if we can find some iron. A couple of iron mean just one sheep could give us a bed if we're able to... Whoop! Oh, I didn't want to... Wait, why am I sinking? I ducked, that's why. Uh, we're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of the controls a little bit, though. I mean, it's starting to... It's starting to feel a little more natural, which is good. So, uh, Basement Dwellers. I have only all been talking about the game, but uh, for anyone who's new to the channel and still here, uh, if you like this video so far, you're probably going to like the series. Uh, it's kind of a nostalgic feel. Minecraft is the idea of the series. Um, I don't do time lapses. I don't cut stuff out. Um, once we get established, we do a little bit of work off camera so once I've got a bunch uh, you know a fair bit of coal I'll feel free to grab coal off camera once we have a fair bit of iron I will feel free to grab iron off camera um, you know like I'd like to discover the new trees and get the saplings on camera with you guys but tree farming will be something that can happen off camera in between episodes and the idea is uh, casual gameplay casual commentary Minecraft uncut and I do have um, a couple of solo survival worlds up on the channel. There's a 10-part uh, when the Switch was new uh, console edition series. And uh, do we need to grab all this coal? I don't think so. I think we just keep going down. Um, uh, there's also a 42 parts as of the recording of this episode series uh, that I started on Wii U and ended up transitioning over to the Switch to make the world size bigger. Um, and most of the people who are fans of any Minecraft solo series on the channel are fans of that one. Um, and it's interesting because this channel is only a solo commentary channel one day a week. Uh, on Sundays it's just me, 
but uh, six days a week, it's me and my friend Ted. Uh, we are gamers, and we are... Uh, that's where I want that to be. Yeah, and, and we play games for you, and, uh, and you like it. Uh, you'd better like it anyway. Yeah, uh, family-friendly, um, but not, like, rated G. You know, not like... Okay, boys and girls, now we're gonna use our pickaxe on Mr. Cobblestone, or anything dumb like that. Um, although, if you want that, let me know, and I will totally change who I am uh, just for you, because that's how YouTube works. I'm just kidding, that's not how YouTube works. Well, that's how some of the YouTube works. You know, a lot of uh, successful YouTubers, and I don't count myself as one of those. Okay, it looks like we're reaching, um, we're on the highway to the danger zone. Let's try the... Yeah, I could get maybe used to using the control stick. Okay, do you hear anything? I hear something. This definitely feels like a... Okay, we have to be very quiet because this is very dangerous. I don't even want to set the torch. Oh, iron on like the wrong piece of uh, gravel because it will all collapse. You know, a spider could get through there, but nothing else. I mean, no other normal, traditional, classic mobs. Okay, last torch. Uh, how fitting. Uh, we can grab some iron here on our first night. And I think... Oh, it's only four. Oh, well, more than four. Okay, five. That's actually a good number because we can make shears. So if we find a sheep, we can make a bed without having to kill it. And um, three will make a good pickaxe. So do I want to bother with a crafting table and a... I don't think I do. I think that was just a slight detour. I think we keep going. I wish I knew what time of day it was right now. Like outside. That's a lot of gravel. Um... I'm tempted to make stairs, but I think I'll just make them. Was that a zombie noise? I feel like that's a zombie noise I've never heard before. Really chewing through a lot of my... Did I make more torches? I didn't. Yeah, it's definitely zombie noises now. Okay, yeah, so I'll just have to get used to, like, pressing the craft all button. Like, just intuitively knowing which one that is. Once those things start happening, like, the control scheme, it's going to feel better. <laughs> so I'm tempted to go back upstairs and see if it's daylight yet, because I do need to get going on food and wood and stuff, but it's just hard to resist going down to diamond level. Honestly, a little surprised I haven't found more iron yet, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, 12. Yeah. Okay. We're deep enough. I definitely should have done this. I'm glad that trick still works. I've heard that AFK fishing is, uh, very effectively, um, un op in bedrock. Uh, so we'll have to see about that. I mean, we won't have to see about that. I don't need to do AFK fishing. But I really do, once I start getting some diamonds collected and stuff, I really, really do like having fortune to make the most of them. And I really do like having mending to... Oh, look. You have bedrock at five. So we probably won't actually make the floor down here. We'll probably make it here. This will be our level of walking around. Okay, let's start the transition back upstairs and see what time of day it is. Um, hopefully the whole day hasn't gone by and now it's become night again. But if it has, I have to say, even though it's hard difficulty, I had that big fall and I got attacked by a zombie once. And yet, uh, I'm only missing half of uh, one hunger pop, as Paul Soros Jr. would say. And uh, I have full health. So, is that generous, or is that like, um, sort of a first in-game day, uh, benefit? 
that your hunger is, uh, you, you start with really high saturation, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it would be an interesting thing to know the answer to. I do hear that skeleton. I see that hand, young man. Uh, just letting you guys know I hear it. Sometimes I don't hear everything because um, I've got my left headphone earbud in and nothing in my right so that uh, if my kids start screaming or the cat meows at me or my wife says anything, uh, I can be aware of it. Okay, let's real quick put the iron in here and then have ourselves a look around. There could be monsters that haven't burned up. I don't know what time it is. Let's see, is that sun moving? Okay, it's late morning. That's better than it could be. I do kind of wish I had a map so that I could see what's going on. Okay, home's at zero, zero. Remember that. And uh, before I go traveling too far, I'm going to make sure that I have the ability to make myself a pair of shears. Although... I'm not going to do it until I see a sheep, because if I don't, then I'll use that iron for something else early. Oh, here's a pig. Okay, it'll be our first meal in Minecraft. This is good. And I see some grass. Critical hit. Do I get an achievement for that? Okay, three. That's good. Um, let's clear out a space. Like, oh, I have a dedicated spot for my... Uh... Oh, yeah, a queer... Acquire hardware. <laughs> you can see how good my internet connection is. Uh, okay, good. We have our first seed. That's enough. Um, so maybe we end up making a bucket. I don't know. We've got water very close to our home, though. So uh, the reason I'm thinking about that is because I want water in order to grow our food. But uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's not go too far. Let's get some wood. And, uh, yeah, gosh, how long have we been recording? We're not a half an hour in. Sunday long plays are usually in the 40 to 50 minute range. Uh, they used to all be 70 minutes or so. And then uh, those got hard to do. Hard to, it's hard to find a chunk of time that long when you're a husband and a father of three and you have uh, a career. Uh, although, I don't know if I take myself so seriously as to call it a career. I, I fix databases and reporting and stuff. It's a fine skill to have, but I'm not, like, climbing the corporate ladder or anything. I'm just sort of like, oh, yeah, that's broken. I know how to fix it. Pay me money so I can feed my family. Yeah, did that feel a little buggy to you right there, the way we're jumping around? Now, we can start growing more of this. I'm going to want to grow this off camera. I mean, it's fine if it's on camera, but like it may happen. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to want that so that we're not too far behind when it comes to the ability to enchant. Sometimes you have all the leather and all the experience you need, and you've got your obsidian and diamonds to build a table, but you're just low on paper, and that's frustrating. Um, but yeah, for now, let's get a, let's get a farm set up. I think that's a good idea. It's nice just having all the tools right away. That's why I make them all right away. Okay, I uh, probably should have left that one there. Um, let's duck and do... Let's see. I can go out eight. Okay, sensitivity. Careful. There we go. Two, three, four... So what I'm thinking with this is that we'll put the seeds here. Um, and I really, like, people have said that um, doing the whole wheat thing early game is, like, needlessly difficult or whatever. But I find it's actually really effective uh, to have wet, tilled soil on either side. Excuse me, can I not just hold the button down? Okay, that's a new thing. Welcome to Minecraft Bedrock, I suppose. Can I walk on this stuff without damaging it? It used to be that you had to crouch on this stuff. Okay, boom. We've got them all down with tilled... Oh, hello, dolphin. 
You hear the dolphin, guys? It's kind of cool. Okay, now the hunger is becoming a real thing. However... Okay, that's west. So we can see, we can watch the sunset, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and waste another piece of coal. I, I don't like burning... Um, like one coal for three meat when it can cook up to eight. I don't like doing that very early in the game because it's just like coal can sometimes be so precious, but we found a really good amount right off the bat. So I don't think I need shears. Um, I think I need a sword instead, maybe. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a pick before we accidentally use up our iron on something else. Okay, and two left means because we don't need a bucket, because this is fine. Let's go ahead and put a torch there, too. Uh, it might be smart to light things up a bit up here, actually, before it gets too dark. Hmm. Guess we'll do this the hard way. Oh man, our picks are almost gone. Okay, we definitely need this going on. Is there going to be anything terrible in here? I'm just one click away from the sword, just double checking. I can go BOOM! As needed. How's the offhand work in Bedrock? Do you guys know? Oh, more iron. That's superb. This went deeper than I thought it would go. And it's still not done. Interesting. Oh, now it is. Okay. I like sort of dead-ending that, knowing I have nothing left to fear. Let's go ahead and break this stone pick. Let's see if it breaks. Yeah, tell me you guys' thoughts on Bedrock, uh, if you have any. Um, if you're new to it, if you're transitioning from some other platform. Uh, I really want a mouse. I was looking forward to getting good at craft, classic crafting. Okay, there's more coal up here if we need it. Make a mental note, guys. Uh, but I just sort of wanted to get it lit up up here. Didn't it? Nah, 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 nah. To make sure that uh, creepers aren't spawning up here and then dropping down into our happy home. It's quite the cave network. I mean, not really, but for being so high up and kind of early game. Boy, it gets dark. Okay, uh, dead end. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... Uh, see, I can't quick move it into the... Up there. That's kind of annoying. Oh, come on. Give me more than... I wish there was a button for pick up one. At least there's a button for craft all. Okay, let's make sure we have our last path lit up here, and then we can cook some pork... Once it's dark outside. Huh. In lots of places for things to spawn. Gosh, what a beautiful game. There's our crops growing down there. What are we at? We're at 80. Y equals 88. Well, I like having that position on screen everywhere. Any sheep up here? I could see some sheep spawning up here. This could be a place to build. There's a zombie and a spider. I better get home. I wonder if I can jump to the water from here. Anywhere. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Still fun. Good old Minecraft. Okay, none of this is mature yet. But that's okay. Um, takes a little time. That's fine. Look, we got food. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I didn't make shears yet. That was smart of me. Actually, where food is going to go in this series... Can I just pick up all? Thank you. Food is going to go is right there next to the torches. That's where it goes. Um, how do I change perspective? Wait, mute? Oh, that's talk. Oh, that's throw. There we go. Uh... This is a small house to try this in. Where's the particles? Okay, well, we're full. We still have an extra pork chop left. 
that's nice. Uh, we're in good shape. Uh, so next time, I may have dug this to be taller and added some stairs. And uh, But I won't do anything fun like find or mine diamonds without you. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good time. Let me know if you want this series to continue. Let me know if you want me to go back to my old series instead. Uh, I still have plans to keep that world going. And um, let me know if you want me to transition that world to bedrock. The big problem with that is I have an extensive nether hub set up. And the nether to overworld ratio is uh, 6 to 1. Uh, yeah. Um, every 6 blocks in the overworld is 1 block in... Oh, pork chop. In the nether. And on bedrock with infinite worlds, it's going to be 8 to 1. So I'll have to rebuild all of my portals, uh, which is a little silly. But... Not so bad, I guess. I would tear down the, the bedrock ones. Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, let's stay safe in here. Uh, so yeah, give me your thoughts um, on bedrock in general uh, on the series. Um, whether or not you're excited for it or you're hoping I just will put it down or whatever. And uh, yeah, until next time, basement dwellers, um, I think that you are more uh, exciting and new than uh, bedrock edition Minecraft on the Nintendo Switch in the basement.